Okay, so I received a question in the forums about the bend modifier in Sculptees. And uh, the person actually did some nice work here. Uh, sent a, a little movie here showing uh, an original object that he uh, applied a bend mod modifier to. And you can see that it bends quite nicely. And then he generated a sculpt map from this, pasted it into the scene and applied a bend modifier to the sculpty and you see we're getting some really weird stuff going on here so what's what's up with this let's take a look at it uh, he sent me his max file so let's take a look at it right here well first here's the original object let's uh, apply a bend modifier to that and we'll bend it in the x-axis and let's just watch what happens so we get a very nice bend here alright exactly what we want to see now let's uh, get rid of the bend modifier and now let's open sculpt gen max and let's uh, turn proportional on uh, with a 1.0 multiplier and we'll generate a sculpt map from the selected original object and now let's uh, paste it into the scene as applying. All right, so we have our we have our object here, our sculpty, which is a copy of the original. And let's apply texture to it. Now you can see there's a problem with the texturing. Um, I'll deal with that in an, another video. I, I think I will have to modify uh, Prim Composer to take care of that, but what we're looking at here is the bend so <clears throat> let's apply uh, a bend modifier to this we'll bend on the x-axis the same as we did before and uh, now well this is good this is exactly what we want uh, so we can bend this sculpty and everything is exactly what we want you can see that this is a sculpty and uh, go back to the bend and it, it bends perfectly so let's do another experiment select the original object again but this time let's turn proportional off we'll generate a sculpt map we'll uh, paste it into the scene as applying alright now uh, let's go ahead and uh, add a material to it alright so what's going on here when we pasted this back into the scene all of a sudden we have this really big tall thing well that's because um, with proportional turned off uh, each of the dimensions has equal weight so even though this was thin in the Z direction when we generated the sculpt map we we gave z the same weight as the other three directions so the the z axis gets expanded out here so let's uh scale this down so that it's you know, approximately the same height in the z axis and uh let's now put our bend modifier on here and we'll bend in the X axis again and now let's see what happens whoa that is really weird well that's exactly what he was showing me in his little uh, movie So let's see what's going on with this. If we look at it carefully, you see the orange box here is the bend gizmo. And as we move the angle here, if you look very carefully here, you can see there's just a little bit of bend here. Just a little bit but not very much and what's actually happened is that when we scaled when we scaled the sculpty down in the z-axis 
and now we apply the bend modifier it's actually kind of squished the bend modifier the the bend gizmo as well so let's see see if we can do something about this let's click on the bend modifier and then click on the gizmo and then let's now scale the gizmo and I'll just scale the gizmo up here like this and now look at what we have all of a sudden we have a nice bend the way we want and let's let's look at it in action so now we have a bend that works more the way we were looking to do it let's scale this out some more and see this is working just fine now all right let's see let's try another another thing here let's come back to here we'll do sculpt gen max we'll generate the sculpt map without with no proportional then we'll paste this into the same okay we get the same distortion as before let's uh scale this down in Z all right now uh, if we were uh, let's go ahead and put on the um, material <clears throat> now let's instead of applying the bend modifier right now let's uh, go into utilities and click the reset transform utility and then press reset selected uh, actually you know what before I, before I do that what I really want to show let's get rid of that let's paste again paste that into the scene again go ahead and um, apply the material now let's let's look at the transform so at this point you can see that the 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 scale in in the X Y and Z axis is the same if we now scale this down so that it looks the way we want it to and look at the scale now you can see that the Z scale is much much lower than the other two and this is this is what's causing the problem with our bend modifier so let's go into uh, now now go to the reset uh, utilities reset transform reset selected and now let's look at the transform Ah, now the transform is a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. So all three axes have the same transform. And now, uh, again, this is this is still a sculpty. If we look at this, uh, we can see that th this is a sculpty. It just has this X form modifier on the stack now. And if we now put a bend modifier on top of this, bend in the X axis. Bingo. Now it works just exactly as we would expect it to. And we can, if we want to, if we want to get rid of this uh, transform, we can uh, collapse to. And that'll just bake that transform into the mesh. And uh, it's bending exactly the way we want to. So that's how you can get around. If you have problems uh, after you've scaled sculpties and you have problems with, uh, it probably happens with any of the uh, modifiers that have gizmos attached to them. Uh, you can just either scale the gizmo yourself manually or you can uh, go to the utility mem uh, menu and use this reset uh, transform utility.